It's trapped. We need arrows post haste. No, he's mad. No, my house. Don't wreck my house. Oh, he's wrecking everything. How did you get in here? What is going on again, Nerf Raiders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with us today. We're playing some more dark and light. I'm joined here with my sexy Smurf concubine, Blitzfire911. What's going on, Blitzers? Well, hello. <laughs> the lady voice is ladylike <laughs> and on point. But I thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with us today. We've had a development. It is an interesting development. We have no freaking base. <laughs> <laughs> so we log in and we're like, what the crap happened to the base? Did we get raided? What's, what's going on here? And it turns out... There are events in Dark and Light where the sky turns a horrible, hideous orange and things come down from the sky and decimate all that you've worked hard for and kill all of your tames, which seems to be what has happened to us. But all is not lost. We've still got a little bit of stuff we can salvage here. What is this? A campfire with nothing in it. Uh, we've got our preserving bin with no absolutely nothing I, in I it. I took the meat. There was a little meat left in there. Okay. Uh, the, the only thing that still has stuff in it is the charcoal box over here. Really? Oh, okay. Let's let's see what we can get. Oh, a little bit of charks here. Oh, and ironing it. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to start to break everything down, and we're going to work our way towards a new area that I've actually selected. Oh, I just broke the walls behind this. I didn't actually mean to do that. A new area that I've gone... Okay. <laughs> I break walls and the preserving bin's like, bye bye, later bitch. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that was all about. We're gonna break this down. I really was kind of like, eh, whatever about this spot anyway. So this is a good opportunity. I did a little bit of scouting. I found a really cool spot for a base location, and we're gonna progress over there now. I've gone ahead and laid down some groundwork. It's not 100% uh, based up yet, but it's pretty darn close, and it's in a much much cooler location. So we're going to join forces and traverse over there. I'm just trying to get as much resources back from this as I can. And we're going to recover from our event, I guess, when we were offline. Uh, but I, I don't know how it works. I don't know what you can do to protect yet from said event, other than maybe building a higher tier. So as soon as we get over to, the, of, of, over to New Spot... I'm going to try to say we progress to stone as quickly as possible. I think that'll give yeah. us a better fighting chance. And that'll be a good idea. You know, I, I'm just kind of on tilt. I really don't mind losing a couple of structures, whatever. It, it, it's it's not that big a deal. Let's just get Cheap this wood. Yeah, it's just wood. Let's just get this broken down and go. And a spot that I've picked is actually pretty decently rich in metal. So, like all types of metal. We've got your copper. We've got your iron. We've got your mithril. But I'm really sad about the our, our buddies. I'm really sad about... Um, Those were good ones. <laughs> I'm really sad about Christopher Penelope Bacon, which is Chris P. Bacon, it, but his full legal name. And I'm and really I'm, I'm really sad about Ironhide. Yeah, like all of them were really high level. That's that's a feels bad. But we're going to get over there to the spot. And it's over next to... I'm going to call it Yggdrasil Forest or Yg, Yggdrasil Forest. Yggdrasil Forest. We'll call it Yggdrasil. Because that's the way I think it is actually pronounced. Your Drassel Forest over here. The most beautiful forest looking thing ever. And if you see it, we actually visited it in the uh, best... Uh, actually, in part of the stream is where we visited it. It's Pride Rock over here. In the Pride Rock general vicinity. I'm sorry, I just punched you, didn't I? <laughs> I'm not going to make this uh, like a wasted effort. I'm just going to gather whatever we can. We're going to level up our skills. We keep b-hole punching each other. We, we should cross this. Uh, it's much safer on this side. I made a sword. Although, although there's a hyena over here. I will sword it to death. Sword that hyena. Hyenas. I'm gonna swim. We didn't happen to loot any type of, like, munchie-related munchies, did we? Yes, I got 37 cured meat we can eat. Oh, yes, that's awesome, because I'm eating berries, uh, quite literally to save my, my life. I'm spam eating berries right now. Nom 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 nom. It's not helping. I'm coming to you for that cured meat, though. Whew. Oh, do we have the stuff? To, oh, oh, oh. Do we have the stuff to make some um, arrows of Tammy? Uh, we did save all the. Or we got all the charcoal back out of the box. All right. For some reason, no one took the charcoal. Awesome. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, I guess somebody did actually kind of loot a little bit of us, but not to the point where it was like horribly decimating. So I'm gonna get some of that cured meat from you, and I'm gonna start the arrow crafting. Uh, oh, 
look, yeah, we can make over a hundred here. Oh yeah, secure meat. Oh I, need, oh, I need to make arrows, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just start what we can. Secure meat, get on my five spot, that's where I like you. Oh, and I'm super slow now. But this is this is okay. We're doing this for a mission -y purpose. This way, this path over here is the safest way to get there. Oh, okay. So I'm thinking we just take this and oh my god, oh my god, is it gonna be the slowest trick in history? Did I do the I am Nick and this is Nerf yeah. Raid thing? I don't think I did. I am Nick, guys! This is uh, Rebuild Parade. No, this is Nerf Parade. <laughs> and we're going to be get, getting kicked off better, faster, and stronger than we were in our previous little base. We're still going to be in wood tier for a little bit, but the goal by the end of this video is to progress to some parts of stone and rebuild our dino collection. Our Well, I say dino, our creature. It's not dinos anymore. It's our creature collection. We've got to regrow our creature collection to that of its former glory. But there's this little spot right here. Shallows that we can kind of cross. I want to oh, avoid man. the I want to avoid the fishies of horrible water munching beehole fury. If at all possible. Nope, there's a fishy razor munchy creature in there. Turn around. I just nope the hell out of there. Nope, 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 <laughs> nope, nope, nope. But if we follow the path, we should be good. Okay. This is how this is what I was doing earlier. I was like. All right, we got our butts handed to us. Let's find a spot. We got to explore a little bit. Let's go to where I know there's metal. And, well, that's really all there is to the story. I went where there was metal. <laughs> I was like, we've got to progress in this stupid game somehow. Actually, not stupid game, super fun game, even though we just got our butts handed to us. But I kind oh, of I expected it. And I didn't expect it from the world itself. I didn't expect the map to, like, raid us. I expected other players to, but not the map with, like, random world events. And I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm pretty okay with it. I, I'm, I'm kind of excited that something like this happened. It means that no matter what, it's not going to be a situation like Ark, where eventually just the environment stops being dangerous to you. The environment's always going to be dangerous. That's a level 40. We're only going to stop for 100 plus here. As we progress our way through, that's thirty-two. Okay, they're all bad. Let's keep going. I gotta waste like a our time. Fish following me. <laughs> oh, you swam it? Yeah. Oh, you. Do you. I like luring all the fish to a spot. It's it's easy hide. Oh, okay. If you want a big ticket, that's fine. There's there's kibos over here, or, oh. or kodos or whatever they're eventually gonna be called. So we can tame one of those guys and use them to help us farm some metal, which I'm excited about. And there's a lot of wyverns and vrock samsons and griffins. <laughs> All right, I should be getting close to you. Yeah, okay. As long as you keep running towards the big world tree, Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil? Oh, I see your name. You see my name? Okay, good, good, good. I'm just checking these kibos as we go. All right, they're not, there's nothing good here. Yeah, as long as you keep running towards the Pride Rock slash Yggdrasil, you're going to be good to go. Oh, and somebody actually put in the comments that we can tame rock elementals and treants. Oh. Huh. But with the soul stones. Oh, okay. It's, like, that's how you have to tame the Reapers, too. Is it? Okay. I'm excited to do it. I mean, we're basically... We did a little bit of, like, learning the mechanics stuff in the streams, but we're still pretty blind when it comes to the game. We don't exactly know exactly... We don't exactly know exactly? Yeah. We don't exactly know what we're really doing. We're still quite noob at this. And I wouldn't have it any other way. That's usually when... Us and... and I dare I say everyone has the most fun when yeah, they're brand sure. spanking new starting out. Like starting out is usually one of my most enjoyed periods. All right, I'm I'm dodging Griffins and I'm checking. Oh wait, boars are aggressive, aren't they? Yes, if you get too close. All right, yeah, we're not gonna play with him then right now. I got too much crap on me and no respawn pads. Yeah. That one's eighty four. Nah, well, no, we have standards. You got a bunch of goblins chasing you. <laughs> goblins. Yeah. Oh, cool. We I guess we got to get contracts to tame the goblins, and once yeah. we do, we can put them in our like spell tower turrets, which seems pretty okay. interesting. Like we can we make goblin buddies and make them fire at our enemies. Maybe that'll be <laughs> how cool. we uh, protect our poor little bee holes when we're offline. Make it a swim. Am I still leading the pack? I'm catching up to you. Okay, good, good, good. I just don't want you to lose me because if you don't know exactly where to go. Oh, you're right behind me. What am I talking about? I turned uh, back. I came to check across me. quick. Yeah, <laughs> I took the shortcut. 
You've Shortcut got, across the river. You've got them move speeds. Just kidding, <laughs> that's not a thing. Although there are haste runes, which are really cool. They last for like a two or three seconds, and you super blast, and it's it's, it's cool. That's the end of my story. That's all I have for you. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> cool story, bruh. Needs more haste runes. Fantasy things? Fantasy elements? <laughs> this is a pretty easy trek. I mean, it's nothing super crazy. We're not running through massive panther spawns, thank God. But we're the location that we're going to, the location that I found and discovered that I'm really overselling at this point, <laughs> I feel like it's kind of OP. I'm not going to lie to you. Location of OPness? I think, it's, I think it's a base of OPness. I really do. What level are you? Level 8 wyvern. What level do you use, sheepy? 68. Hmm. I want to get a couple of sheepies for that passive uh, fur for, production. For the boots, so we can get the boots with the fur? Yep, so we can get them boots. Them booties. Uh, nope. Okay. We're almost there. I promise. <laughs> 12 hours later. Yeah. <laughs> Three weeks later. No, no, no. I'm just kidding. We're almost there. <laughs> we wanted to go to Pride Rock, but I'm just trying to make sure that we're Johnny on the spot, dodging everything. Yeah. And that nothing murders our b-holes. Everything up here is mostly passive. Okay, good. You're right behind me. And I'm going to hit the nodes on the way up because this is one of the biggest reasons why I chose this spot. Nice. And that, and it looks freaking gorgeous. That's a big plus. It's it's maybe a little PvE-ish, but totally worth it. Here we go, <laughs> copper. We're almost home. We're almost to our new home, Blitz. Yay. Are we there yet? Uh, yes, we are there. Are we there yet? Believe it or not, we are here. <laughs> copper, uh, to your right, up the hill to your right, is where I set up camp. Okay. I'm just gonna get these coppers. <laughs> yeah, Copper! I'm gonna mine the crap out of you, see? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I don't I don't know why I thought that was funny. Feels bad. <laughs> I guess it could be crafting and like multitasking. This is <laughs> This is honestly what I like I try to keep as entertaining as possible. I know it's like, oh wow, good job there, Nicholas. You spent half the damn video running to your new base. Quite high quality entertainment. Well, uh we kinda got butt wrecked and I wanna make sure I show off as much as possible of the uh of the dark and light, because like I said, we're so new, and I want to get as much of it on camera as, as possible, so... Progression is an important part of this series. Yes. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my pick broke. I was like, wait, why am I not mining anymore? Punch it to death. I'm going to. I'm going to punch this rock until it yields all the copper ore for me. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It, was, it just took one more. Oh, and I whacked you. <laughs> Anything? Yes. Although, hey, it, would, it would have been even yeah. worse if I would have said whacked you off. Lul. <laughs> But you're my lady Smurf concubine, so it's all right. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're totally we're role play. We're gonna role play this series. That's what it's gonna be. I'm gonna role play the crap out of it. I did hit some iron nodes that were up here earlier, and it looks like a couple of them have respawned already, which is really really nice. I yeah, think get some iron picks going. Exactly what I was gonna say next. I want to get some of the metal tools and make things so much easier on us. Our next. You know what's gonna be really nice having a base up here? Yeah. We can make hang gliders. Yeah. Yeah, we can. There. I just actually learned the hang glider not too long ago. I haven't got to use one yet. Right up there is a oh, big like source of mithril. Crack. Oh, you like it? I'll say, here we go. It's right, in the, it's right in the crack, and it's covered. Base, home sweet home, place of opiness. <laughs> and, oh, God, there is a wild griffin in our house. I, I don't know how it got here. It's trapped. We need arrows post haste. No, he's bad. No, my house. Don't wreck my house. Oh, he's <laughs> wrecking everything. How did you get in here? I left the ceiling open and I regretted it. Oh, God. Quick, quick, use the taming arrows. He's trapped. Oh, my God. We accidentally built a griffin trap. I need hook arrows immediately. I got to make them. Wait, I won't be able to break the arrows, will it? Uh, that's okay. I don't even care. We got to tame this guy. He let it. He just invited himself oh, into oh, our oh, own oh. home and was like... Uh, hey guys, and it's a high level. It's like, hey guys, I'm just here to crash the party. Oh yeah, we got this. We got easiest tame ever, and it's a high level freaking griffin. Oh, we gotta go inside. Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> I'm running past you as I'm making arrows. Oh no, I missed. 
Oh god. Get out of my house! Come on on my property, will ya? Oh yeah, we're taming him now. Yeah, you stuck. That's what you get. That's what you get for coming in this house. Blitz, we gotta protect this house. Welcome <laughs> to my house. Tame this griffin right now. This song's really cringy. I don't give no <laughs> Fs. Okay, we've got... Oh, Blitzers, this is beautiful. It's our it's our housewarming present. <laughs> but we gotta quickly replace these frickin' structures to stone. Can wild dinos damage stone? Some of them can, yeah. Okay. Look at all like these reapers and stuff. <laughs> Look at all these tethers. Should we break a wall so it can fly? I kind of the tether. I I kind of no. I I don't want to because he's gonna fly off the cliff back there. We'll never get him back. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Come this way, you turd. Ow, ow. Oh. Is he breaking him? Not yet. No, not yet. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm going in. Oh. oh, I'm missing. Oh, God. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm, uh, let me get some rocks. Ouch. I'm going to get a revival author going real quick. Oh, that's a just in case really good idea. I'm just going to tank and spank this guy. Do you have one quartz not stone thing? I anything? don't, but you could probably make a mortar right, and pestle. I'm going to make a mortar and pestle then, yeah. I can't, I can't get over how ridiculous this is. So, we lose all of our dinos to unfortunate incidents. Can we even make a saddle for this guy? And then a griffin presents uh, itself. Maybe. I, I definitely don't, I don't have high enough riding skill. No, I don't think I can. Okay, we're going to have to do some riding skill stuff. The amount of tethers in this dude is absurd. <laughs> Oh, these require placement on floor. Oh god. Alright, I'm gonna break it. No, I don't wanna break it. He's got so many in him. Alright, we're gonna do it. Okay, come on, Griffin! I probably should have waited for you, Blitz, but. Oh boy. I don't think I'm getting hit markers anymore. Eat some of this cured jerky. Oh, there we go. I got a tether in him. This is so stupid. <laughs> he just invited himself in. Helped himself to whatever was in the fridge. <laughs> Damaged half the base. But now he's going to be a permanent house guest. Right now we have a revival altar over here, just these things. Alright. Did he break any of those? I... I'm almost afraid to let him go. I don't know if us keeping this up is, is helping. I know if they break the tethers, they get more torps. Or whatever. I think they have to break the tether. They have to? That's why you can't make taming pins in this game. Oh crap, my bow, my bow broke. I have seven arrows left. How many do you have? Three. Oh god, no, this is bad. We can make more, right? I have the charcoal. Okay, I, I'll make the arrows then. Oh yeah, we could definitely make more. I don't want to let this guy out of our sight though. Alright, I guess we're going to BRBs for a minute. I'm going to make some more arrows. We're just going to make like as many arrows as we can. Unless this guy happens to break the stuff and escape in the meantime. Do you want to... I don't know. Do you want to say just screw it and act as bait and punch him? And, like, lure him out? You could, yeah. And then hunt him down? I really don't want to lose him as a tame. But we don't have wow. iron hooks. He hurts a lot. Yeah, he does hurt a lot. Oh, oh, there he goes. He's out. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, yeah, I'm for sure going to die. Go back in the house. I'm going back in the house. Oh god, he got me. <laughs> that freaking jerk bag. Uh, oh, you just made the altar. You are a pro. <laughs> I was done that 12 times. So I was like, I'm making an altar. <laughs> yeah, good call on that one. 
And he's still there. Alright, we're gonna we're craft up some stuff and see what we can do. See if we can pull this off. This is insane. Alright guys, we're gonna go for it. We're crafting up more arrows. Blitz has about 100. I have about 100. It's almost the best that we can do. And this guy's either gonna break the base or get tamed. Or, I mean, may, do they, does he take iron? Ow. What? Ow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, he's out. Oh, I missed so bad. Oh, I can't even say anything. I'm so scared right now. I really want to save this guy. <laughs> oh, he's in the house. He's breaking him. That's a really good idea. Keep luring him in him out. In a minimum in him out. In him out. In him out. <laughs> I almost died. <laughs> oh, I can't hit him there. I should not be crafting and doing this. Oh yeah, we got his butt. Oh, what the hell? Oh, he went out the top. No. Is he gone? Oh, he flew away. That butthole! He flew, he's flying like way away. No! We gotta get, we gotta get him. He's done too much damage to our house. He's way out Is there. he all the way down there? Is that him down there? Yeah. Stuck in the rocks? No, the one flying towards the big tree. Uh, is he out. flying back now? Maybe? I think that's his I think he's flying back. Yeah, that's he, him. <laughs> oh my god, my bro broke. He hasn't had enough. Welcome back, buddy! Ouch! My precious beehole. <laughs> this is the most intense tame we've ever done! Ouch! Ouch! Please stop! Stop it! No! I'm going inside. Oh, you jerk bag! I wonder if the thing's off of cooldown. I hope so. Yes, it should. It should definitely be off cooldown. Okay, yes. It's not anymore though. Keep up the good work, Blitz. It's Operation Nicholas Zerg at this point. We're gonna tame this guy if it's the last thing we freaking do. Oh no 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 no! No. No, stop that. Now I'm gonna get lag. Yep, super lag. It's the transfer all lag. Oh my god, the suspense is really freaking killing me right now. Am I dead? Am I alive? No, you're alive still. I didn't even get hit once. <gasps> Dude, how many arrows is this gonna take? Please, be our friend. Why Please. can't we be friends? Uh, guess. I'm going to do a freaking dance when this guy goes down. Why? There's so many arrows in you. He needs to break them now. All right. Operation Punch the Griffin? I think so. Alright, Operation Punch the Griffin's a go. Operation Punch the Griffin! Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh. Ouch. He's coming. Oh my, my bow broke. Oh, is he down? Oh, oh my! He's down. He's down! He's down! <laughs> oh my god! Finish off, finish off! Got it, got it, got it. I'm pretty sure they're meat eaters. We just, we just did it, ladies and gentlemen. Boys, we tamed ourselves a freaking 88 griffin <laughs> inside of our house. Uh, meat. Oh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's already taming up. He's already taming up. Oh, he's already, I said I was going to do a dance. <laughs> I'm doing the dance. Do the griffin dance. Do the griffin dance. Do the griffin dance. Okay. Now we got to repair our horribly destroyed base. <laughs> that I spent like a solid five minutes building. Everything is freaking damaged in here. Wow, I'm surprised more. St I'm surprised he didn't actually break. Those 77s were really popping up everywhere. Yeah. Oh, armor crafting rank six. Did you? Oh, nice. Is that like oh, mithril? You can make mithril stuff. Oh, blitzers, you're my new hero. All right. <laughs> You've got stonework, right? Yes, firm. 
Um, I, I do not we have it. We need a workbench it. to make it, though. Need a workbench. Okay. Can I make a workbench? Uh, what do I need? Oh, we need copper ingots. We can do that. Um, we how can many do, do that. Need? I'm making... I have eight. Uh, we need 20. I'm going to make a couple of four geese. Okay, good, because I've got a ton of copper around me. Yeah, I've got them. I just... We mined it as we were coming up. Yeah. Uh, but... A ton of copper and a tiny bit of iron. You know what? Oh, no, I might have a good amount of iron. I don't... Hang on, now i got to worry about feng shuiing this thing. Well, he did break his... Oh, did you have a foundation missing? No, I may have broken that foundation to uh, get my body back. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's alright, though. It's all for the name of... Griffin. It was all in the name of Griffin Taming. You know what we could and call him? What? I can. what? Um, it's a boy or a girl? I don't know yet. Actually, we got to think of a good name while we're crafting these forges. Copper, copper, copper. Uh, and wood. That'll do it. Like this fire. Uh, nine woods. That's fine. Wood and ca. Oh, oh, we got him. We got the griffin. We tamed. I heard the doom. <laughs> Light fire. Hold still, Griffy boy. Let's call you. I'm gonna call him house guest. <laughs> That seems like such an appropriate name. E, not e. Uh, Goldilocks. Go coming in and trying to eat our porridge. Oh, she was trying to eat our porridge. <laughs> She's coming into our base, trying to eat our porridge. We'll call you house guest, though, for now. Or we could, you know, we could call him Goldie. Yeah, like, you know what? Goldie, there you go. Goldie, I like that. it's Goldie. That's a good one. Goldie, as in Goldilocks, for coming into our bear place. Shack. Yeah, <laughs> our crack bear shack. Trying to eat our porridge, sleep in our beds, and we discovered him, and tamed him, and made him our pal. Uh, I was gonna make another forge, wasn't I? Yes. What do I need? What do I need? More hide. Do you happen to have any hide on you? I need six, and I can make a third forge. I have three. Three? Oh my god, are you kidding? Okay, that's no problem. Until we get twenty copper. I forgot that it doesn't auto smelt. That's a feels bad moment. I'm in here like, why? Well, how much do we have now? Like this, <laughs> Twenty <laughs> should come up pretty quick. Wow. Yeah, I've already got eight, so we only need twelve more. You've got eight bars. Yeah. Oh wow, nerf you. How did you get that? For, oh, yeah, from the forge? base. Yeah. Ah, the original base. Yeah, I gotta drop them for you. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. And then our little place of. Oh hey, iron respond. This is why I wanted to be here. Because we can come right outside and boom, iron. Boom, mithra. Like, our farms are going to be super simple. Like, we're not going to have to go very far. This shall be nice. And we're pretty darn close to the elven area, which we check, if you remember from the best spart, sparts, best sparts? Sparts. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that was like spots and parts. I don't even know what that was. Best sparts to farm uh, rich resources. Farts. <laughs> it, the the elven area was very rich in a lot of resources and this view though it's all about this view this is what i was going to show you guys when we first freaking got here but it's all about this view it's all about that view all about that view amazing well we made it over here to the base <laughs> of opinus uh, it's so op <laughs> that it just gives us griffins and we tame them <laughs> but now we have to make sure that we're absolutely 100% protected before we log off so that another uh, I would just gotta call it a blood moon event because I don't know what it is uh, so we don't have another blood moon event name pending because we'll figure it out in a, in a bit but that is gonna wrap it up for this episode guys we tamed a freaking griffin right as we're putting down like <sighs> unreal absolutely unreal and a high level one too I'm, I can't even believe it but thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video hit the thumbs up button for us let us know that you like the dark and light stuff and that you're enjoying the shenanigans of Blitz my beautiful blue concubine smurf that is mm. large human sized because uh, what's the what's the backstory here is it because I made a wish oh I summoned <laughs> a genie and I was like dear genie please give me a girlfriend and there was like a smurf smurfette was like walking I don't know you know what no I'm not <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> Before that gets any worse, we're stopping. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the page if you haven't done so yet for some more videos, some more dark and light, some more. You hit my house. Why would you do this? Oh my God. Please remember to take care of yourselves. Stay awesome. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Later. <laughs> Wait, did you knock me out so you could do butt smurf stuff to me? <laughs> it's time for smurf butt stuff. Oh, it's already starting. Pull we'll it.